TV Tuesdays. My name is Franz, and today we're going to show you a really fun little treat that you can whip up super easy. Since the coconut oil little chocolates were so popular, uh, I was going to show you how to do an almond butter fudge. Yum! I had a version at my girlfriend's house when I was in Saskatchewan, and so I'm going to whip up a version of that for you guys today. So, we're going to get started because it's super easy. It'll take a few minutes. I'm going to measure out the beauty of these ingredients is that I don't actually have to dirty a lot of different measuring cups because the measurements are all the same. And who loves not having to do extra dishes? Say I. I. All right. So there's my half a cup of almond butter. For all of you peanut butter lovers out there, you can of course use peanut butter. That's you, Tina. One of my good girlfriends, she's a peanut butter addict. So I know that she'll be making that substitution. It's also a super good substitution if you're watching the budget, because peanut butter's way less expensive than almond butter, so that's a nice little tip. So get that in there, and then we're using that Tropical Gold's tradition um, coconut oil, because it's amazing. You could just eat it by the spoonful. It does taste more like coconut than the other ones, so if you've got family members that don't particularly like the flavor of coconut, you can also use an expeller pressed coconut oil, and it'll be much milder. But this has, are you ready for it? Twice the amount of antioxidants that others do. So, when I can, I do use this one. All right. I feel so fortunate too, I get to use my sister's husband's honey for this. So raw honey um, from the farm, that's never been pasteurized, super yummy. Okay, it's a little hard at the bottom. We've had it for a while. It's just crystallized a little bit, but that's so not a big deal. Just scoop it out and we're gonna melt the whole thing. So I got a little recap here of what's going on in this messy pot. I've got half a cup of coconut oil, half a cup of almond butter, and about a quarter cup of honey. I got a little overzealous there, so I, I apologize. And then I have a teaspoon of vanilla, and then the magic ingredient, I have half a mashed banana. You could use a whole mashed banana if your family is big on banana flavor. I like a mild banana flavor. And so I'm going to take this all over to the stove. I'm going to melt it just a little bit. And then I'm going to use an emulsion blender to get it all smooth and gooey. And then I'm going to put it in a little container and put it in the fridge. Okay, so let's go over to the stove. <laughs> I'm just mixing it up, and this heating up process is, will take like 30 seconds, it's already quite a bit melted. Turn off the heat. And I'm gonna use one of these. You could use a food processor too. You know, you could, you wouldn't even have to heat it up. You probably just do it in the food processor. <laughs> so that wasn't so hard, right? Super, super easy. A little trick, I have my little parchment paper and like a mini loaf pan. I just taped it into place so it wouldn't move. But you could use like this, like what we did to make the little chocolates, or you could use, um, my girlfriend just used like a nine by nine, and then she kind of like muscled it out of there as she was eating it, which she could totally do. Um, this is nice and smooth, and I'm just gonna pour it in there. You can also use, um, yeah, let's get pretty full. Okay, a couple tablespoons left, I'll just pour them into it another piece of like muffin paper little tins. So I'm just gonna put that in the fridge and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what that looks like 
after 15 minutes of cooling down. Okay, we'll see you soon. So welcome back. That wasn't very long at all, and I have amazing fudge to share with you. Well, if you were in my house, I would share it with you, but I'll share the recipe with you. I'm just gonna pop it out of its tray. I love parchment paper. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay. And then, of course, you can slice off the ugly bits. I'm sure there's a family member who will sacrifice themselves to eat the ugly bits. And then, look at that. Perfect fudge. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. You're gonna have to try that. I'm gonna go enjoy my fudge. Thank you for joining us. Mm, it's good stuff. Hope you try it. Let me know your favorite way of incorporating healthy ingredients into your favorite recipe. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you and sign up for the newsletter to get your free mini cookbook. Have a great day. We'll see you next Tuesday. Stirring it around to get all the seeds covered with a little olive oil. You can use butter, whatever.